Hello viewers, you're welcome to another Voice of the Street on your favorite online TV, Clevenant TV. And today we are on the street to ask people about their opinion of how the government can make plans to make the economy a viable one, which could affect the people, the common man, favorably. So we will be asking people on the street about their opinion on the laid down rules of the government which could affect the masses positively. And we will also be talking about an event coming up in uh, Europe, which will also come up in Nigeria very soon. The event is called PFAD. PFAD is the proper integration for Africans in diaspora. We will also like to know the opinion of people about this particular event. My name is sir. Um, Ola Deji. Okay. Uh, it's about the Nigerian economy. What are the measures you think the government could put in place which could also the affect the common man on the street? Um, first of all, I think education is very paramount in the Nigerian economy. If education is made accessible to everybody, I think so many things will be affected, like um, uh, the amount of non-educated people and also job opportunities also. Once there are more job opportunities, okay, Talking about job opportunities, the first basic thing I think we create job opportunities is steady light. If there is light, there will be more companies. More companies who want to, you know, establish their base here in Nigeria. And when they, are, when they establish their base in Nigeria, you have opportunities, you understand? Because most of these companies, they go out of Nigeria because of lack of, they can't, they can't maintain the diesel they spend every day. The fuel. Imagine those costs out of a company, there will be more profit, they will be able to, you know, employ more hands and all. So light is one of the basic first things that should be done in this country. Steady light, because I don't see a reason why we don't have steady light in this country. Okay, so what again? And in terms of all this corruption, I would say corruption is a grassroots thing. So to solve corruption, for me, it has to do with the school, the nursery and primary school. Changing the curriculum, uh, what's it called? Encouraging patriotism. You know, when, the, when a, a small child is patriotic, is patriotic, loves his country, you know, bringing up so many things that will make the child, I love my country, I love Nigeria. Well, a common Nigerian now, will not, a common small child will not like, Nigeria, will not like to stay in Nigeria because there's not, there's not that patriotism in them, you understand? So patriotism is imbibing patriotism in their curriculum, you understand what I'm saying? Thank you very much. So about our company, we are bringing up an event which is to come up in Spain. It's called PFAD. PFAD means the proper integration for Africans in diaspora. This event is also coming to Nigeria, uh, which will also bridge the gap between Africans and European countries. What do you think about this kind of event? Uh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good initiative. It's actually very nice. So more, more blessings. What are the measures you think government needs to put in place? to boost the economy of Nigeria? First of all, to refine the oil, our oil, oil refinery. First of all, leave number one, to, boost, to make Nigeria to be great. Instead of Nigeria to use our oil, to go outside the country, go and refine it and come back, to make everything worse. But if you refine oil in Nigeria here, things will be better. This fair we are selling 145 or 145 or 143 naira is not ultimate. But if you didn't need it here, I believe it can be sent that price we are selling it before 65 naira. Thank you. That's my a major turn would have bothered me to make the uh, government to put eye on that. Thank you very much. Yes. But uh, our uh, TV are organizing one particular program named PFAD. Yes. That PFAD is called Proper Integration for Africans in Diaspora. Yes. This particular program is also coming to Nigeria very soon. Yes. So this particular program will help Africans to portray mm -hmm. their African culture, mm -hmm. African food, African delicacies, and everything con uh, concerning Africa. Yes. What do you think about this kind of program? Uh, I love it. If you can able to allow it to come, no problem. We have support it. Yes. That's my own opinion. If you can able to make it to enter Nigeria here, there's no problem from that. Whatever we need now, or something to make Nigeria to be great, make everybody be happy and joy and see future for that, no problem there. I promise you that. That's my own opinion. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you so much. Let me know you, sir. Yeah, right on the cross. My name, sir. My name is Salabi. Okay.
So, uh, what are the measures you think government needs to put in place to boost the Nigerian economy? Uh, first and foremost, the um, government needs to empower the youth. Then, we need them um, like um, electricity, water, and all those so necessary things, sure. So, that's all. So, our TV, Clevenant TV, is organizing an event named PIFAD. PIFAD is occurring in Spain. It is called Proper Integration for Africans in Diaspora, which will help Africans here to portray the African foods, African culture, African tradition, African attires. And this particular program is coming to Nigeria. What do you think about this particular program? Mm. If the, pro the, the program is coming to Nigeria, right? Uh, what is there is uh, if it is the program that we help the situation of Nigeria. So I think it's right. So anybody with, uh, for example, an, any agricultural person yeah. who is who deals in agriculture yeah. can also portray his or her product uh, and any other product of African heritage can also be portrayed through this particular event. So thank you very much for your time, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah. My name is, sir. Yeah. Your name, sir. My name is my Mr. Rahim Babatunde Wasil. So what are the uh, measures you want government to put in place to boost the economy of Nigeria? Um, many things um, in Nigeria that uh, went wrong, actually. So perhaps what we would like government to do is just to make sure there is enough employment, most especially in the aspect of youth. They should try as much as possible to employ the youth of this country. So by that time, they will have enough facility to facilitate and make sure that uh, foreign investors, they come to Nigeria and even equally, the youth of Nigeria will also engage in those kind of uh, activities. So there won't be any economic uh, sabotage or economic recession, so like what is happening just right now in Nigeria. So, okay, thank you, sir. And uh, um, Cleveland Global International is also hosting an event named PIFAD. PIFAD is the proper integration for Africans in diaspora. This event will come up in Spain, and it is also coming to Nigeria very soon. So, this uh, particular event will help to portray the African food, African culture. Uh, agricultural produce of African heritage. What do you think about this particular program, sir? Uh, it's a welcome um, program. If um, they can bring it to Nigeria, it will, develop, if it will bring a development to the country also. Like in other part of the world, where Nigerians, youth, Nigerian adults, because of the problem they have in this country, they normally travel out of the country. It is because those people, they fix their country very well. That was why those people, the Nigerians can be able to travel extra mile to go and be doing dirty job over there. So if they can do that, I think there will be improvement in Nigerian economic wise, agriculturally. You understand? So I think that will be okay for it. Um, it's a welcome idea if they can bring it to Nigeria. So Nigeria will benefit a lot from it. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Yeah. Thank you.